sail on I-65 And I want a hundred bucks on a scratch on ticket oh, Welcome back to JNL Garage uh, Got a little package in the mail today It is not for Reba It is for the other Dodge And it's right here It is some interior content for Small Dong's truck his birthday was uh, this month, and this package actually came in a little bit late for him. But he's supposed to be, but he's supposed to be on his way home now. So, uh, got some contents in this box for the interior of his, some radio and some other goodness in here to uh, really straighten up that whole dash mess that I showed to you guys. And right now, we're just waiting on him to get home. We should be any minute now. Let's unbox it now. Got Nawanski here, witnessing the unboxing. I don't know how it's packaged because I have not opened it, so you're going to have to get it out and put it on the bed and show it to the camera of some sorts. Hey, hey, hey. That's it. That's all that's in there. No, definitely not all that's in there. Oh, yep. That's it. Packing peanuts. God, I hope the rest is in there. I'm gonna be severely upset if it's not. Just get it out, fool. I gotta get this stuff off because I'm doing my bed. Slide that over here. Whenever you get done looking at it. Alright. So they did not sell a conversion kit from double den to single den. So I had to get another double den radio to go in there. But this had a 4.5 out of 5 star rating on Crutchfield, so this should do nicely. And I think it looks pretty fire. Where's the. Did it come with a wiring harness? Yep. Yeah, I think it came with that thing. Came with all of it? That's it. That's the next thing that's going to be done to the, the Black Dodge. Yeah. Is this Metro? Yeah good and so we're we putting this in today I say let's go ahead and put it in today that way we can see if it gets rid of that freaking static or not or if the speakers are just terrible so we're gonna look over it make sure everything's here make sure everything's good to go and we're gonna throw it in so we're in small dongs truck now got this finish wired up uh, I've already showed you guys how to do this. All I did was solder it together and heat shrink it. But uh, we're fixing to take the dash apart. If you guys do want to see like soldering tips towards this, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in the video where I put the radio in the BMW. Uh, I'll try and remember to throw the link in the description for that. And But this is a real easy part. You don't necessarily have to heat shrink this, but I like to do it. And we got exposed wire there. I got to tape that up. But... Uh, I mean, all you have to do is use butt connectors. That's what most people do. That's not a bad thing to do. I mean, it still works. So, if it doesn't take this dash part, get this radio out, get the old harness out, and then get started putting the new one in. We're going to make sure it works first, but I'll show you guys all that. Okay, so, got everything tore down, and I actually took the door speakers out because it's it's wired up pretty terribly. Uh, but whenever we were taking all this out, come to find out the antenna's been cut at some time. But the radio hooked up works. Luckily, they did not. Whenever they put these, uh, these are actually pretty nice speakers. These are some Sony Explodes. But whenever they went to put this in, they did a pretty crappy job at it. And so I'm going to, like, cut it down and make it nice and clean so there's no fire hazards in here. I don't know where these wires are run to, but I'm thinking that it was some kind of power wire to the little tweeters that were on here. But as you can see, all this mess. I mean, this is the new wiring harness. Looks fine to me. Uh, we plugged up the radio. Speakers work. Bluetooth works. Comes on like it's supposed to. So I'm just going to work on getting the amp wire hooked up and the amp signal wire hooked up so that way the subs will work 
And I'm also, I'm gonna get small dong to take that speaker over there out, because I'm sure it's done the exact same way with this. It was, I mean, they used duct tape, and it's, I mean, you can just see, by the way, we took it apart, it's pretty terrible, so. I am gonna clip these and put some butt connectors on there, make it nice and clean. And we're fixing to finish this thing up. I definitely gotta get a charger, though, because my battery's about to go dead on this camera, so. But radio works. We just had some music bumping, sounding good, but I'm going to let you guys see it after we're done and let you guys hear it after we're done because these Sonys do sound pretty nice. So I'm kind of jealous. He's got aftermarket door speakers and I don't. And we're fixing to clean all this wire and crap up. I've even got the hood popped. I'm checking all the wiring under there. So, And I'm going to tuck these wires away that's just run under the freaking floor mat. They're the... The RA cables are run right there, so I'm going to clean all this up and get it ran the right way, so that way, you know, his subsystem's like way better looking, and it's a lot cleaner, so just going to get cracking on that, and I'll show you guys what it looks like whenever we get ready to put the radio in. Alright, so it is the day after we got the radio installed. Look, I got it turned on here. Uh, it, it has to be Bluetooth to be playing music. My phone won't let me play music and film at the same time, so I'm going to see if I can get it to pick up a radio station here because, uh, as I mentioned a, a little earlier in the video, the antenna was cut, so I'm not quite sure if it's going to work very good. But we're going to try it. Go. And of course, Small Dong has already decided he was going to turn the bass all the way up to try and mess the speakers up, but sounds good. I mean, there's going to be static in the radio because we're way out in the middle of nowhere pretty much. I know 1061 picks up good out here. It just completely skipped it. I'm going to try and get it to where it can get some clear sound for you guys. But, I mean, the thing looks nice in there. I really thought that there was going to be a whole lot of gaps uh, that was going to, you know, allow you to see back behind the radio. But it's actually not. I mean, it looks real good in there. I like it. You know, sounds good. I know that it's going to sound a little distorted on my phone. But, uh turn that down so I don't get copyrighted but I really I really like this radio to be a cheap brand radio it really does the job really well and uh, that pretty much sums it up though you guys uh, hope you guys enjoyed that's pretty much how to install a radio in a 2002 to 2005 Dodge Ram 1500 and um, yeah uh, that sums it up for this video I thank you guys for tuning back in with us and uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you next time on JNL Garage.